So in this short video I want to talk about interviewing elites, uh, elite members, or as Kubota refers to this process, studying up. So basically interviewing uh, experts in the com uh, community, people uh, with high positions, quite often business people in big companies. So this is what do we mean and unfortunately at the moment it seems that uh, we know of more challenges of this approach than uh, of techniques and tips for how to interview uh, these people uh, nevertheless in this video i will uh, i gathered whatever we know so far and will try to give you as much advice as possible So the key problem uh, with interviewing elites is, uh, of course, uh, the access. So both uh, Kvail and Kubota, who both write about this approach, uh, talk about access and, and the issue of gaining access to these participants. And this is for several reasons. So firstly, they may not uh, want to talk to you, basically. So they may not want to talk to scholars whom uh, they just perceive uh, to be uh, not much different from journalists, for example. Somebody who wants to interview them, somebody who wants to get some information, which may potentially uh, damage their reputation or the reputation of the company or do some other uh, kind of harm. Also, in some companies, a public relations manager quite often is responsible for uh, recruiting the participants, selecting the participants. So you want, you may not be able to really carefully select your participants. Then as you get to the stage of interviewing them, uh, during the interview, as I said, they may not uh, be really willing to disclose information. So they, uh, the information they give to you may be very limited. Also, they may uh, have some uh, specific talk tracks. So they may have some almost prepared responses uh, that again uh, are that aim to promote their uh, official points of view or the point of view of, of the company or the image of the company rather than uh, their, uh, their personal view, their personal point of view. Also during uh, the interview, uh, the power balance may be a problem because uh, again, because of their high status, uh, because of how they perceive themselves and how they perceive you. Uh, so it may be difficult to develop rapport uh, these interviews tend to be very formal and another problem is uh, the follow-up so quite often it's very difficult to uh, to contact them after the interview so remember when I uh, when I talked about member check-in for example so reaching out to your participants after the interview or maybe when you're analyzing the data or sometimes even meeting them again uh, here it may be difficult again for several reasons sometimes it's not up to your participants but rather their manager who won't be willing to do that and uh, sometimes it may be up to your participants who nevertheless do not want to do that either so uh, they have given you your time and they really don't have any more time uh, to give you as i said in terms of solutions or or tips there's not that much that uh, i can offer uh, but uh, what Quail suggests for example is that you should really be very very familiar not only with technical terms uh, related to whatever field your participant is in, uh, but also uh, the background of your participant. So you should know as much as possible about his or her background, the background of the company, and uh, as I said, generally the field and whatever it is that they are doing. So it is believed to, uh, to uh, result in more uh, trust and more respect. So I suppose it shows that you, you are really prepared and they don't really have to sp uh, waste time explaining uh, the basics to you. And another suggestion, it may sound a little bit controversial, but I actually like it. I have never uh, been in this situation, so, uh, so I cannot speak from my experience. But the suggestion is to challenge their points of view, to actually ch challenge them because they are in a so-called safe position, so they are uh, they have this safe status. Uh, arguably, not many people challenge their views. So what this means in practice is that when this happens, not only can they actually be happy that somebody, uh, you know, had the courage to to disagree, which may result in them again uh, in maybe better rapport, uh, more trust, and just basically their willingness to to discuss things rather than give you a certain. Uh, previously prepared statements, 
but also it's simply it's something unpredictable. It may uh, result in them uh, having to step outside of that uh, pre-planned scenario and be more spontaneous. So this may result in some additional spontaneous insights. So uh, this is all. As I said, it's a short video. We don't know that much. Not much has been said about interviewing uh, elite members. Hopefully, if you decide to do that in the future, share your ideas, share your experiences. And uh, remember that there is always this gap. So uh, potential for your contribution into this particular aspect of interviewing.